Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. It's your girl Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Uh, thank you guys for returning. Thank you for watching. Thank you for commenting. And just thank you for sticking around. If there's something that you guys want us to react to, drop the link down below. Again, drop the link down below, and we'll be more than glad to react to anything that is you suggest. So today I'm going to be reacting to Dr. Matthew asks dr zaki would you like to take away the peace i have after believing in jesus this sounds like an interesting video so without wasting time let's get into the video good evening i am dr matthew and i'm also involved with uh, creation.com which is part of creation ministries international being a medical doctor i came here because i was very much interested in peace and as you mentioned Peace is both internal and external. Now, personally, when I and millions of other people have found, after being convicted of our sin and repenting of it, that and having accepted and believed that Jesus Christ, the sinless man, paid the full price for my sins, he took my shame and guilt on the cross and died for me because of which I have peace and that peace is something which passes understanding. I want to know, would you like to take away that peace which I have, which is a peace which passes understanding and can you answer that? Thank you. Brother, that's a very good question. He is Dr. Matthew. He's got a website and organization called Creation. He said that he found peace. He came here to attain peace. He said he got peace in Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, who died for his sins on the cross. He died for his sins on the cross. So he's asking me that would I like to take away your peace? Brother, I would never like to take away your peace. I would like to take away your false peace and make you get the true peace. I love Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. I respect him and I revere him. I want to know that do you also love Jesus Christ or not? I'm asking you. Yes. Do you agree? Yeah. Do you believe that Jesus is God? Yes. Yes, brother. Now, either you get true peace or I will come to your peace. Yes. Correct? If yours is true peace, I will leave my peace and I will join you. Yes. Now, you told me Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, is God. I challenge you to point out a single verse in the Bible, a single unequivocal verse from the Bible, a single unambiguous verse in which Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, himself says that I am God, or where he says, worship me, and I am ready to accept Christianity. You said Jesus is God. As far as Muslims are concerned, Islam is the only non-Christian faith which makes it an article of faith to believe in Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. No Muslim is a Muslim if he does not believe in Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. We believe that he was one of the mightiest messengers of Almighty God. We believe that he was the Messiah, translated Christ. We believe that he was born miraculously without any male intervention, which many modern-day Christians do not believe. We believe that he gave life to the dead with God's permission. We believe he healed those born blind and lepers with God's permission. The Muslims and the Christians are going together. But the parting of ways is, as you said, that most of the Christians, they believe that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, claimed divinity. There is not a single unequivocal statement in the complete Bible where Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, himself says that I am God or where he says worship me. If you can point out, I am ready to accept Christianity. So if you had not said that, why do you believe he's God? And where did Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, say that he died on the cross for your sins? That is the teaching of Paul. Are you following Paul or are you following Jesus Christ, peace be upon him? My Nowhere goodness. in the Bible. So my question is, when Jesus Christ never said he was God, if you love him, you have to respect him. He said, when he was asked, which is the first of the commandments? It's mentioned in the Gospel of Mark, chapter number 12, verse number 29. He said, Shema Israelo, Adnan Haidman Daikhad, Hear, O Israel, the God, our Lord, is one God. He repeated verbatim what was said by Moses earlier. Peace be upon him. So what I'm asking you, if you know the teachings of Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. If you say Christian is a person who follows the teachings of Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, it is mentioned in the book of Ephesians, chapter number 5, verse number 18, that do not be drunk with wine. 
It's mentioned in the book of Proverbs, chapter number 20, verse number 1, that wine is a mocker. Whoever deceives has it. We Muslims, we don't have alcohol, but many of the Christians have alcohol. Furthermore, we Muslims don't have pork. It's mentioned in the Bible, in the book of Leviticus, chapter number 11, verse number 7 and 8. In the book of Deuteronomy, chapter number 14, verse number 8. In the book of Isaiah, chapter number 65, verse number 2 to 5, that you should not have pork. We Muslims don't have pork, but Christians have pork, most of them. Furthermore, Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, he was circumcised on the eighth day, according to the Gospel of Luke, chapter number 2, verse number 21. We Muslims are circumcised, most of the Christians are not. If Christian means a person who follows the teachings of Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, I'm proud to say we Muslims are more Christian than the Christians themselves. No. So where do you follow the teachings of Jesus Christ and you say that you worship him? So brother, point out a single verse in the Bible where Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, said unequivocally that I am God or worship me. Dr. Zakir Naik. Yes, brother. My question was on peace and I have that peace. I don't have to memorize memory purses to prove or disagree with you. What I am sharing is that the peace which I have, because of the belief, because we are all sinners and we need a sacrifice to pay for our sins. It is not by our works that we are saved, Correct. but by believing in faith that Jesus Christ has paid the price for my sins. Fine. So you agree that Jesus Christ has paid for the sins of all humanity? Do you agree yes. with that? Yes. yes. Okay. All who believe in him. Okay, fine. So suppose the Christian comes like you, who believes in Jesus Christ and he rapes your wife, will he go to heaven or hell? Pardon? If a Christian hmm. comes and rapes your wife, he believes Jesus Christ died for his sins. So whatever sin he does, it is paid for it. So no. if Jesus Christ had died for his sin, it will give permission for all the Christians to rape the woman. Never, never. never. Why never? You said, you told, you brother, you told your work will not take you to heaven. It is your belief. So if you believe Jesus Christ died for your sin, and if you commit rape, if you rob, if you oppress other people, will you go to heaven? He is not a Christian. If he does that, simple. But he believes in Jesus Christ. There are many no. Christians who I know. Yes. That yes. means it's a wrong belief. Because Correct? In the, in Correct. The Bible, in the Bible also it is written that even the devils believe in Jesus Christ. But Correct. they don't follow him. Correct. They don't. Do you follow Jesus Christ? Peace be upon him. Are you circumcised? Yes, yes sir. sir. Are you circumcised? Are no, you circumcised? No, I am not circumcised. So why don't you follow Jesus Christ? Peace be upon him. Jesus Christ was circumcised on the eighth day. You're a doctor, correct? Yes. You know that circumcision is beneficial medically. So that was if in Jesus, my hands. It was in my parents' hands. So you can do it now also, no problem. Sure. If you want, I'll help you. <laughs> Point number yes. one. Point number two. Do you have pork, brother? No. You don't have pork. Why? It's, it's mentioned in the Old Testament. Testament. Correct. And God has mentioned it. Do you have intoxicant? Do you have alcohol? No. Fine. Do you believe Jesus is God? Jesus Christ is God came on the earth as a human being. Where it is mentioned? Which verse of the Bible? Tell me. Which, which verse, verse of the Bible? Bible? Yeah, which verse of the Bible? Which verse of the Bible where Jesus Christ himself says he's God? Suppose someone tells you are God. Will you believe you are God? Someone says I am God. Will I believe? The point to be noted is that Jesus Christ never claimed divinity. In fact, if you go to the Gospel of Matthew, chapter number 19, verse number 16 and 17, there's a person who comes to Jesus Christ and says, Good Master, what good things should I do so that I enter eternal life? So Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, says, Why thou callest me good? Leave aside God. Why thou callest me good? There's only one good, and that is a God in heaven. And if you want to enter eternal life, you keep the commandments. He never said that if you want to go to paradise, you believe I'm God? He never said that you believe that I died on the cross for your sins. He said if you want to go to paradise, you keep the commandments. And the commandments are what? You should not rob, you should not have alcohol, you should not covet your neighbor's wife. Commandments, the deeds. The deeds will take you to paradise. Jesus Christ never said he was God. So why are you saying that Jesus is God? Peace be upon him. You are not following his teachings also. I didn't say that Jesus Christ is God for this argument. I just said that I have the peace in my heart and that peace I want to share. Brother, there are many people, you know there's a Satan worshipping cult, do you know that? There are you many aware? Satan worshipping cult. Correct. So they get peace by worshipping Satan, but that is false peace. Therefore, I want to take you out from false peace and make you enter true peace. What you're saying is peace is actually not peace. You are worshipping a false god. Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, never said he was God. 
So because they're worshipping a false god and you're in the false peace, like people worship Satan, and yet they think that they're on the right track, I want to get you out of the false peace and get you into true peace. Because I consider myself to be a true Christian. If Christian means a person who follows the teachings of Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, then I'm more Christian than the Christian themselves. Do you know Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, said in the Gospel of John, chapter number 16, verse number 12 to 14, I have many things to say unto you, but ye cannot bear them now. For he, when the spirit of truth shall come, he shall guide you unto all truth. He shall show you things to come. He shall glorify me. Now, which man, which prophet, after Jesus, has ever glorified Isa alayhi salam? Jesus Christ. It is Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. So this prophecy of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is mentioned in your Bible. There are several quotations. I am asking you, why don't you follow the instruction of Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, and why don't you follow Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him? What kind of a Christian are you? Do you mean to say that I don't follow the follow teachings of Christians? Not at all. I'm giving you quotations with reference. You go back home and check the Bible with references. You are not a true Christian. I am a true Christian. It's easy to judge, brother. Easy, very easy. I'm giving you with quotation. What you're saying, you have not given a single quotation. I challenge your doctors of divinity. Doctors of divinity of Christendom. Anyone, get your doctors of divinity. If you say you don't have the knowledge, get your doctors of divinity. Who's the best in the world? And let us have a dialogue. Sure. But the person should be powerful, not just a roadside person, a person who can attract people. A person who has a following, you get the best one that you have in India, best one that you have in the world, and we'll have a dialogue. Yes, and you can ask him, and you ask him all the questions I've asked. That where is it mentioned in the Bible? Any unequivocal statement where Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, himself says that I am God, or where he says worship me. I, Dr. Zakir Naik, I'm immediately accepting. If you can point out from any version of the Bible, any unequivocal statement, any unambiguous statement where Jesus Christ, peace be upon himself, says that I am God or worship me, I am ready to accept him to be God. But there's no statement. So what you are doing is you are not following the teachings of Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. It is the teachings of the church, not of Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. So therefore I request you, brother, that please leave the false peace and enter into true peace. The true peace is submitting your will to God. God who created Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, not a false God. Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, was a messenger of God, but he was not God. Hope that answers the question. Um, we have very, very strong believers in whatever they believe in. And I'm glad this man was mature enough not to start a debate of going back and forth and not willing to listen to uh, Dr. Zaki Naik's reply which was it's very very few people that stay calm when someone is actually responding to them uh, many christians not just christians i mean anyone who believes in whatever religion they believe in they are set to stand their ground concerning what they believe and how they believe it and how it makes them feel peaceful which is something that everyone in this world has to respect but, I mean, this is a Christian coming into a Muslim situation, I mean, gathering and saying what he said. I feel like, I always say this, always come in with an open mind. Otherwise, Dr. Zakina, I feel like Dr. Zakina actually answered him to the best of his knowledge. And he was giving references to things that um, are supposed to be practiced. If you believe in Jesus teachings then are you doing this are you doing that which was very very interesting it's funny how some christians don't even follow the way of of jesus do you understand because these examples that was given here and i'm like wow pork eat wine drink alcohol drink and the circumcision thing as well it's there so why aren't christians actually following the way of Jesus that would be something I would really really love to know otherwise this was an interesting piece for me and I hope you guys had much fun watching it as I did let me know what you think about this video and let me know what you think about what the guy was saying or asking and if there's something that you guys want us 
or meat react to drop the link down below i'll be more than glad to react to it um make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course we'll see you i'll see you in my next reaction video